Hi, Year Nines. Um, this is going to be your um, lesson three. Um, can I just say that what you have um, submitted so far, for those of you that have, um, I'm so happy with it. I'm, and, and I think you'll see, I've not uploaded them all yet, but you know, I've put quite a few on Instagram. Um, I'm just so impressed and you've handled it so incredibly well. I know it's um, probably very difficult, uh, you know, doing it from home, you know, without being in the classroom and being, you know, directed as such. But you are doing amazingly well. Um, anyway, with regard to um, this lesson, I think you can probably tell actually whilst I'm talking that there are some slight um, lines that I've, I've done um, on my portrait. Your next part is... Um, is to look at the Patricia uh, Ariel work um, and to kind of look at the, the, the hair and the patterns that she incorporates. So we're not looking at the paint yet. The painting will be the next lesson, okay? This lesson is all about the pattern and the hair. So um, for the hair, she tends to be, it tends to be kind of like um, wavy and straight lines. You don't tend to see curly hair within her work, although you could prove me wrong and find some. Um, but it tends to be kind of either straight or, or wavy. Um, and it tends to be um, pure black lines um, and, and very beautiful. And there's a, you know, a lovely flow um, about, about her, the, the hair. It tends to incorporate patterns, okay, so um, if you, again, if you look at her work, um, you will see um, lovely patterns and flowers, um, almost like Zentangle, which we've looked at so many times, but that tends to be incorporated in her work as well. Um, she does quite a lot of um, discs and patterns within discs, although I did see one um, earlier when I was having a quick look that she's she's done one with diamonds and, you know, incredibly beautiful work. What I would say before you start this is to have a look at a selection of her work, just to have a look at what I'm talking about. In fact, when I upload this video, I'll also upload some examples of her work so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I have done um, a slight outline or started in terms of what's next, um, just otherwise um, this video will take literally hours to upload, it's something I found from working from home, I didn't realise how long it took to up upload videos, um, so um, I, I have started. Um, but the, I think the gist of this is to think about... Um, think about the fact that you don't need to keep this bit symmetrical this does not need to be symmetrical um but also um you don't need to use um all of your features so the reason i told you to leave the grid um and the ears and the neck and you know everything else is because you can use it but you can also dismiss it so you will see in a minute that i've um not used um the ears for example so when I start going over some of this in black, you will see that actually the ears would have been, if you look at my pen now, the ears would have been here and here. You can possibly just see the outline of that one there, but I'm going to get to the point where I will rub that out because actually what's going to go there, for example, um, is one of the discs and patterns and the kind of like strands of hair. So actually you won't see the um, ear. And this side, I think you can probably tell a little bit better, but I'll be going over it in a minute. Um, there's quite a few strands of hair there and far more patterns, okay? Um, she tends to have the hair coming literally out the top of the head. It becomes all quite flowy and and she tends to incorporate it with, uh, well, it either comes to, you know, kind of like a, an end towards the paper, at the edge of the paper, or... She tends to incorporate things like almost like um, almost like peacock feathers or flowers. You know, there's there's lots of lovely things she incorporates. But like I say, I'll attach some images as well of her work. But it would be good if you could look at some as well before you suddenly start, um, you know, just just doing something randomly. So anyway, what I did, um, I started thinking about where I wanted the hair. Um, and I'd already decided in my head that I didn't want to see the ears. Don't know why. I just don't want to see them. Um, so what I have done and um, what I'll start to do is I'll start to go over what I've done here. So this was, or is rather, the edge of the head. So that line there is actually the, the edge of the head. But now I'm going to put a few more lines which would suggest strands of hair. Now, it clearly wouldn't stop at the, the wings, 
but let's face it, this person would never be on their face anyway. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is it would carry on down here. So imagine, if I'm not drawing that bit, it would carry on here. So I might go silent in a minute, but I'm concentrating and you'll see this piece of work kind of coming together. This is just a biro, remember, not a fine liner. Excuse my squeaky chair.
Now, I'm just going to stop there for a moment. I think you kind of get the gist in terms of what's going on there in terms of the hair, okay? Um, here, um, because you can just about well, I can certainly see the grid. I haven't rubbed out. I haven't rubbed out the grid. So we've st I've still got the side of the face there, and I'm looking at it now and thinking, actually, that's that bit there. I, I would actually quite like that to be um within my design. So I'm just going to go over the side of my face. Which is basically there. Which means then I can carry on with the hair. But this part of the hair would stop at the side of the face, suggesting that it's going behind the head. And then this bit here is coming over the face. It's almost like strands coming over the face. And I think the neck is there, but I'm going to keep that um, just in pencil for the moment. So in terms of, say, like the uh, patterns, um, she does quite a few of these sorts of discs, which will change when... Um, we get the paint out next week. And I don't want you stressing about if you haven't got any paint um, because we can use um, coffee, for example, to paint with, okay? So don't suddenly pa be panicking about, oh my goodness, I haven't got any paint. But so this bit, for example, um, I might want to do in um, a, a bit of a color. So I'm just gonna leave it um, like that. And I'm gonna put a few details on here on the disc. Um, and I'm going to go, I'm going to press slightly lighter and have my lines coming slightly closer together. Just here. So the bits on the outside are darker. So we've got that contrast. Okay. I'm going to put some more of those here I'm pressing quite hard on these ones and then with this bit here I'm pressing lighter Like that. Now I'm not going to do all of these. I'll do these once I um, upload the video, a bit like I've done the wings um, after I spoke to you last time. Because I want to show you the, but you know the rest of the head. So I'm going to have more of these designs layering up. And quite dark on the outside. And lighter and closer together. Yeah. And here. Um, I will carry out, uh, carry on around the side here. But again, I'll do that when I've um, stopped uh, talking to you. Um, and this hair, this side of the head, I'm going to bring up here. And I'm going to bring in one of you. I mentioned the kind of the peacock feathers. I'm going to put one up here. Just bring that down a bit. 
And all I'm going to do at the moment is the actual outline because there may be paint involved next week. Let's turn that around. My pen's given up on me. Put some little details all the way around. And this will look lovely with a tiny hint of colour in it next week. We'll see how it will change. So you can see we're starting to get lots of details in here. Um, in terms of this side of the face. Again, like the other side, I'm actually going to use the side of the face, which would be that part there. But then I'm going to give strands of hair, which we you now bring down here. And then come down here. And I'm going to bring that into the side of the face there. So this would be the side of the face, but I'm not going to put this as be where the ear would be, but I'm actually going to put a pattern there instead. 
what I am going to bring in the rest of the face here I'm going to bring in the neck as well because I think it's quite elegant okay here I'm going to start bringing in the discs as in the patterns You can see I've still got the grid in the background. I think you can possibly just about see. I've still got my numbers there, but I will be um, I will be rubbing those out at some point. I just don't need to yet. So I'm doing the same pattern here. Excuse my stomach rumbling. <laughs> and the design that I'm going to want, I'll just turn that there because it's easier to do. I'm going to bring literally lines there. They're going to come lines down here. Gonna bring in little pans here. I'm bring in the little grooves of the gaps. Actually, what I would like to do is make that a little bit darker there. So I think that works quite well, having that darker. And actually, I think it would benefit from having a slightly darker line here as well. Oops, can you still see? Yep. So I'm making that line a little bit darker. So what I would do then is make these darker here. So in fact with this one I might still see I'm going to do that pattern again and already I'm really loving this I'm quite excited to get the paint on it next week when we eventually get back into school, 
I would love for us to do big paintings like this. It'd be awesome. Now this one, it is one of these, but this middle bit here, it's almost like it's gone behind the face. Actually, that would be a little bit thicker. I'm going in those grooves I mentioned before that I've made. Little tiny ones, that one. I do feel that actually that the edge would benefit from being a little bit thicker on these just to give that definition so I'm going to make the edge of all of them excuse my squeaky chair I won't use this again I'll use a different chair next time. <laughs> Conscious that you're hearing it. So you can see that's really quite lovely. Okay, well I think so. <laughs> but what we now need to do is think about this here because the top of the ear would be just there but I don't want to be, I don't want it, I don't want to see the ear because I've lost half of it already so that bit of hair would be there so I'm going to bring that hair line there that looks a bit odd there, so I'm going to bring in some lines of hair here. And I'll make that look okay in a moment. Well, I'm going to turn this around. Ooh, bear with me. Because that strand of hair there, I'm going to make this. This is where you need to look at the Patricia area work because she tends to make it flow to the edge of the page I'm going to use that line there as well see and I'm going to bring the top of the head in I'm actually going to draw that in <coughs> because I'm going to do that there but then I'm going to bring in some more pattern work I'm making a bit of a mess of that now, be neater than I am right now. There.
Okay. I'm going to have another little Stay at the minute, I'll just turn it around in just a tick. just little details like that um, and then actually down here um, I've got um, in fact down here I've done another one of those as well so the thing to remember is that you want your page to balance. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to incorporate all the different elements. I haven't been, this pen's running out. I haven't been um, completely random because I've tried to bring in all the details from around here, but I've brought them in around here as well. So although I'm not being symmetrical, which is, you know, we don't need to be symmetrical now, but I am bringing the elements from around the picture so that there's a relationship with the picture in terms of what's going on one side. There's something that's very similar happening around the rest of it as well. Basically, it's about balancing. It's about the composition, but having that balance. Oh, that was my tummy rumbling, if you heard that. I think we can safely say it's dinner time. Hopefully you've chosen a better pen than me. This keeps trying to run out. So, so
it's not those tiny because I don't know if you can see there tiny little dots going around as well only because I've done that on the other ones so not to have them now would be really silly so we're trying to keep that continuity these are bizarrely reminding me as I'm drawing of a pair of earrings I used to have <laughs> when I was your age. <laughs> and then, just to kind of, it's almost like, I'll frame it. Right. And then I'll move it in a minute so you can see it. Yeah. I think you'll agree that's looking really quite lovely. Um, this side, can you see the edge of my pen there? This side, I'm going to just do a few more of the patterns going there, but you don't need to see me doing that. I'll take a picture of it. Um, I'm going to finish it now, but I'm going to stop the video, finish it now, and then I'll put a photo um, up as well as the actual YouTube link. So basically, what I want you to do for lesson three is to make sure that you that there were a couple of people that submitted um, the work last time that hadn't gone over um, the bug in um, uh, Black Biro and it was still in pencil. So please, please do that in Black Biro. Um, then I want you to decide, have a look at Patricia Ariel's work, okay, and decide and take the elements that you like from her work and then decide what you want to do in terms of the hair and the patterns that she incorporates, okay? Like I say, this doesn't have to be symmetrical, but I want you to be creative. Um, this part here, for example, I'm gonna put more hair lines in, okay? That's not gonna stay blank like that. Um, but like I say, I'll put a photo up um, as well as this YouTube link. But what I would say is, enjoy it. So look, if I hold this up closely, okay. Can kind of see some really beautiful parts of the drawing and it's actually starting to look very much like her work and when you actually see next week the paint going on it you'll be like yes can't wait to do that because it will end up looking just awesome and exactly like her work so yeah nine have fun okay um, what I will say is once you've done this um, and you've gone and you've gone over it, I would suggest doing it in pencil first, then go over it in biro. But once you have done all of this part, you can then rub out all of your pencil marks. You can rub out the grid, you can rub out all the bits and pieces um, that you don't need. Okay, so it's at this point, once I've done these few bits here and then filled in the hairline bits there, I can still see, you possibly can't see it from this video, but I can still see all my grid marks. And I've even got the numbers still there. I'm gonna rub all that out. So next week, what you need is your design, so your portrait, your insect, the pattern, and that all needs to be in biro. Everything else rubbed out, and then we'll be ready to paint. I look forward to seeing them. Bye-bye, year nine.